Two rooms can look identical in brightness, yet send opposite instructions to the brain. The difference isn't light level, it is wavelength. Research shows that circadian systems don't respond to brightness the same way our eyes do. So it's due to a specific blue wavelengths that control melatonin and sleep timing. Two lamps actually may look the same, yet drive very different biological effects. I no longer judge light exposure by the brightness alone, but instead I recommend looking at the melanopic measurements of a lamp. This means how much biologically active light actually reaches the eyes. Based on that, I like adjusting my light exposure according to the time of the day. But let's understand the difference between melanopic and lux. So lux is the intensity of light, which is based on the human visual perception, done that by the cones and rods. Melanopic measurement is tied to a known visual effect of light, particularly those that regulate circadian rhythms, melatonin production or suppression, and alertness. I use even blue rich light for alertness in the morning then switch to indirect blue depleted light after dusk. The targets are simple, about 250 melanopic looks in the daylight hours and then under 10 melanopic looks in the evening. We know that this approach improves melatonin production, sleep onset and boosts REM sleep. We should see light more than just decoration, but more actually as a tool for optimizing our biology and health. If this really resonates to you, share with your friends, patients, colleagues, and read more about this as well in my new blog. And there I'm sharing a lot of science-based strategies to align light with human health.